Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Accesi suprememastertv.com barra schedule. Hamare karkam pesh kye jate kai bhaasha me kripya deke suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Rancangan kami menawarkan banyak bahasa. Sila kunjungi suprememastertv.com/katabanschedule. Acara kami menyediakan banyak bahasa. Silakan lihat suprememastertv.com garis miris kejo. The mind is not your fault. The mind is just been born like that. Too much trouble. Hmm? Just following the world. Yeah, only the soul is truly wise and intelligent. Yeah, and good and virtuous. Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Alexis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Anand Bari Subhikshao, Dayaru Darshako, Maru Nam Arya Che, Admik Bharatna Gujarat Thi, Amara Loko Tamne Iche Che, Anubhav Thi Ashirwad, Rushioni Bumi Parthi. Praja Sattak Bharat is Sauti Moti Lok Sahiche, Ane Bijo Sauti Vadu Vasti Vadarto Desh Che Vishwama. E Asir Vadik Che Sat Hajarthi Vadu Kilometer Zarya Kinarathi Durche. चार मुख्य विश्व धर्मों हिंदू धर्म, बौद्ध धर्म, जैन धर्म, अनेक सिख धर्म अहीं उद्रव्या छे। जारे इस्लाम, क्रिश्चियनिटी, यहूदी धर्म, अनेक जोरो एस्ट्रियनिज्म पहुँचा छे प्रथम सहस्राब्दीमा। प्राणियों खूब प्रिय छे। अने पूजनीय छे भारत मा अने गणा प्राणियों मा एक अध्यात्य आध्यात्मिक महत्व छे प्राचीन भारत ओलखाई छे योग अने ध्यान ना जन्म स्थल तरीके पन साथे साथे एक महत्वानु तीर्थ स्थल छे सत्य सोधनाराओं माटे यात्राओं टोले वाले छे आखी दुनिया माथी भाग लेवा माटे कुंभ मेला मा निहाल वा हिमालय में सुंदरता अथवा डुबकी लेवा पवित्र गंगा नदी मा साकाहार जनमायो छे अने स्वीट कुरुत 
કે તેનું આધ્યાત્મિક મહત્વ છે ભારતમાં જ્યાં નીતિઓ ગુજરાતથી ફળાય છે જેમ કે ઋષિકેશમાં જ્યાં માંસનો વપરાશ ઈંડા અને દારૂ પ્રતિબંધિત છે અમે સમાનિત છીએ એક ઝડક વહેંચવા માટે તમારી સાથે ભવ્ય ભારતની મોહક દર્શકો અમે પ્રાર્થના કરીએ છીએ કે તમારા દિવસો ફૂલની જેમ ખીલતા રહે અને આનંદ અને આશીર્વાદ સાથે માટે જે ઈચ્છા રાખે છે તાત્કાલ શોધવા અંદર રહેલા ભગવાન સ્વભાવ અને પ્રાપ્ત કરવા માટે એક જીવન કાળામાં શાશ્વત મુક્તિ જીવનના સંસારણ ચક્રમાંથી ખ્વાનયન પદ્ધતિ અભ્યાસ કરવામાં આવે છે બધા પ્રબુદ્ધ ગુરુઓ દ્વારા જેમ કે બુદ્ધ કન્ફ્યુસિસ ગુરુ નાનક ઈશુ ખ્રિસ્ટ લાઉદ ઝુ ભગવાન શ્રી કૃષ્ણ ભગવાન મહાવીર પ્રોફેટ મહામદ તેમને શાંતિ મળે અને બીજા ઘણા તેઓ ભાર મૂકે છે કે જો આપણે હંમેશા ભગવાનને યાદ કરીએ નિહ સ્વાર્થ સેવા કરીએ અન્ય લોકોની અને અનુરીતે બ્રહ્માંડમાં કાયદાઓ તો આપણે પહોંચીશું આપણે ઉત્તમ માનવ તરીકેની શક્યતા અને ખરેખર સમજીશું પૃથ્વી પરનો આપણો હેતુ પરમ ગુરુ ચિંઘાઈ એક આપણા સર જીવંત ઉદાહરણ છે કરુણાના નિયમિત જીવન જરૂરિયાત અને નાણફીય શક્ય મોકલે છે સાથે છે પ્રેમ શરણાર્થીઓ માટે બેઘર કુદરતી આપત્તિના ભોગ બનેલા અને અન્ય રાહતીની જરૂર વાળાઓને માટે પરમ ગુરુ ચિંહાય ખૂબ જ આભારી છે પ્રિય ભગવાનની બધી આર્થિક સહાય માટે રાહત એને સહારા પડિત અને જરૂરિયાતમંદ લોકોને અને અથવા કોઈ પણ સારા ઉદ્દેશ માટે વર્ષોથી એક નમ્ર માધ્યમા તરીકે તેઓના તરફૂત શબ્દ તેઓના તેમના માટે દયા અને પ્રેમ તેઓના વાલા બાળકો તરફ પરમ ગુરુ ચિંહાય સમર્થન અને પ્રેમ મેળવે છે વિવિધ સંધ્યાઓમાંથી મીડિયા સરકારો અને વ્યક્તિઓ તેમજ ઘણા પુરસ્કારો તેઓ તરફથી જેમ કે બે હજાર છની ખુશી શાંતિ પુરસ્કાર માનવવામાં આવે છે તો નોબો શાંતિ પુરસ્કાર પૂર્વના દેશો માટે વિશ્વ આધ્યાત્મિક લીડરશીપ પુરસ્કાર ઓગણીસો ચુમ્માણુંમાં બે હજાર આઠમાં મહાવીર પુરસ્કાર બાવીસમી ફેબ્રુઆરી અને પચીસમી ઓક્ટોબર બંને જાહેર કરાયા સુપ્રીમ માસ્ટર ચિંગહાર દિવસ તરીકે માનદ નાગરિકતા યુનાઇટેડ સ્ટેટ્સની વગેરે અને સન્માનિત કરવામાં આવ્યા છે વર્ષોથી અસંખ્ય અન્ય પુરસ્કારો સાથે અને તેઓના માટે પ્રશંસા અસાધારણ પરોપકારી અને માનવતાવાદી કાર્યો માટે
દિલગીર છીએ કે સમક્ષ નથી દર્શાવવા માટે ઘણા અન્ય પુરસ્કારો અને સામાન્ય જગ્યા અને સમયના અભાવ માટે સાચો અવાજ આપણા સુંદર પ્રાણી મિત્રો માટે પરમ ગુરુ ચિંઘાએ પ્રોત્સાહન આપે છે શાંતિપૂર્ણ અને પ્રેમાળ વનસ્પતિ આધારિત આહારને અને સાથે માનવતાની જાગૃતિ બધા જીવન પ્રત્યે પવિત્રતા માટે અને એક શાંત અને ભવ્ય સમગ્ર કડક શાકાહારી વિગન વિશ્વ જ્યાં પ્રાણીઓ અને લોકો પરમ સુખ સંવાદિતામાં જીવે વિઘન વિચાર ઘણા ફેલાવવાની તેમની પહેલ વિવિધ છે અને સમાવેલ થાય છે વૈકલ્પ જીવન પદ્ધતિ પત્રિકા વિતરણ અંધરાર રાષ્ટ્રીય કડક શાકાહારી વિગન રેસ્ટોરન્ટ લવિંગ હાર કડક શાકાહારી વિગન ફૂડ પ્રોડક્ટ્સ કંપનીઓ કડક શાકાહારી વિગન ફળ ઉત્પાદનો સુપ્રીમ માસ્ટર ટેલિવિઝન તેમજ નિયમિત સંવાદ પ્રભાવશાળી સરકારી અને મીડિયા તેઓના સાથે અને ભાવે છે ટેલિવિઝન પરિષદોમાં અબોહવા પરિવર્તન વગેરે પર ભલે આપણને તેની જાણ હોય કે નહીં તેઓના પ્રયત્નોતા થાય છે એક વિશાળ પ્રભાવ વૈશ્વિક જાગૃતિ પર પ્રાણી મૈત્રીપૂર્ણ જીવનશૈલી અને આ ઉદાર માર્ગ કેવી રીતે કાયમી શાંતિ લાવી શકે રાષ્ટ્રો વચ્ચે જ્યારે આપણે ગ્રહ બચાવવા આબોહવા પરિવર્તનથી અને આપતીઓથી વર્ષોથી પરમ ગુરુ ચિંઘાઈએ વિશ્વભરમાં પ્રવાસ કર્યો છે અમેરિકાથી આફ્રિકા યુરોપથી એસોનેશિયા સુધી અને રાખ્યા છે સેકન્ડો પ્રવચનો જાહેર જનતા અને તેમના શિષ્યો સાથે વિવિધ આધ્યાત્મિક વિષયો પર આજે આપણે ભાગ્યશાળી છીએ આમાંથી એક રજૂ કરવા સમજ ભર્યું ટેલિકોન્ફરન્સ શીર્ષક છે સુરંગમ સૂત્ર ચાર સ્પષ્ટ અને અફર સૂચનાઓ સુદ્ધતા પર કામાતુરતા અને સંહારથી દૂર રહો છ ભાગનો ભાગ ચોથો ગુરુ અને શિષ્યો વચ્ચેમાં જે અંગ્રેજીમાં આપવા આવ્યો હતો બાવીસમી ડિસેમ્બર બે હજાર ને રોજ Continue the Buddha. When you teach people in the world to cultivate samadhi, they must first of all have the mind of lust. This is the first clear and unalterable instruction on purity given by the first come ones and the Buddhas and the world honor ones of the past. I mean, he teaches the same like all the Buddha. This is the teaching. It should be given to people. Therefore, Ananda, if cultivators of Chan Samari do not cut off lust, they will be like someone who cooks sand in the hope of getting rice out of it. After hundreds of thousands of aeons, it will still be just hot sand, and no matter how long you cultivate it, if your concept is not right, you know, as the Buddha thought, then you will be nothing, get nowhere. Just like cooking sand and hoping to get right out of it. Why? The Buddha continued. Why? It wasn't rice to begin with. It was only sand. Well, why do I know that? You know that, right? <laughs> if we cook sand, it won't be rice. So, if you seek the Buddha's wonderful person and still have physical lust, then even if you attain a wonderful awakening, it will be based in lust only. With lust at the source, the source, you will revolve in the three paths and not be able to get out. What are the three paths? Anybody remember? Buddhist? What are the three paths? 
the example of others, the com company we mix with, the work we're doing, the picture we see daily, okay, the people we contact, all these are there just to make us struggle. So just know that, okay, and try your best. Always think the opposite way. Remember the five holy names. Remember to pray to all the saints, the master, to help you. Then it's okay. Yeah? It's not as okay as if you don't have. But we try our best. And all heavens know how difficult it is to live in this world and be like a pure lotus in the mud. How difficult that is. Even if you don't want to have any lustful, for example, relationship, somebody come along and try to scrap you around until you give in. Because uh, maybe you feel sorry for that the guy or girl trying too hard. Maybe you're just lonely at that time. Maybe you've just gone through a difficult period of your life. Maybe you just lost your job. Or maybe you've just gone through the winter of your spiritual cultivation. And maybe you just lost some loved ones and you're just lonely, you just weak and something can attack you. This is a Maya. The Maya will use anything to attack you. Not just person. Huh? Use anything at all. So creating, creating problem for you. So be merciful to yourself. Just be aware, okay? Do not try to condemn yourself too hard. You're only human. We are only human, okay? Well, I don't mean you are human. I mean you have human body. And human bodies, human brains are source of our illness. If we don't take good care and be alert and knowing what they're doing to us. Got that? Yeah. Knowing our weakness so we can forgive ourselves and strive to be stronger. Huh? Okay, not calling us, not indulging in our weakness, then it's all right. Truly, I don't think God and Buddha would be so heartless, no compassion as to condemn us to the point, because we are really thrown into a sea, tight, hand and feet, and had to swim to survive. It's like just know it, okay? Beware, all right? Beware and try to control it as much as you can. That's why all the other great people, they say the best victory is conquering yourself <laughs> because it's too hard. It's too hard, yes. And then you must work for your life, yeah? You must take care of your family, your parents, and every other things. We take all your time already. We have only 24 hours, and we need to sleep eight hours, or more or less. And we have to cook, we have to go shopping, we have to eat, we have to take care of our clothes, we have to pay tax, we have to drive car to work, drive back insurance. Oh, God. Truly, if I am still in the world, like you are, with husband, wife, children, I'm not sure if I could even meditate as good as you do. Good for Buddha that he left the whole kingdom, left for 500 concubines, yeah? 500, but that's a fixed number in India, I told you. That could be 200, it could be 50, I mean a lot, of many, many. They always say 500, 2,000. <laughs> You know, uh, 84,000, I, I explained already last time. Like that. So I'm not trying to condemn you ever, okay? I feel really, really that you are worthy of admiration and respect. I truly feel that way, that you're so strong, so tough. Such a world you live in. So many things binding you, so much stuff to distract you, so many, many temptations to bind you, so much obligation on you, 
and you still want to practice and meditate, and go to good meditation, and go to charity events, helping me with SMTV, cleaning the ashram for everybody, etc., etc. You really earn a place in heaven. I really, really love you, even the least of you. Even you can't meditate very well, I do love you, because I know it's just a world. It's like that. I don't know how anyone can survive here so long with all this surrounding, you know, tiring job and obligation and temptation and work and whatever, yeah and the physical body demands, you know, and physical body weakness, and the mind struggle, the mind's weakness, and the surrounding companies, you know, not all of them are good for you. Yes, and once you make a mistake, it's difficult to go back. You know, it just keeps binding you, and one lead to another, another. <laughs> It's like somebody doesn't want to get married, you know, to begin with. But then he or she got married, and somehow got married. And then it's not ending there, had children. And then work harder, yeah, work harder. And more, more anxiety, more worry because of the kid, because of the love for the kid. I don't mean that is a bad thing to have children or anything. What I mean is that it probably wasn't the thing you want to begin with. And then you pass me to it, and <laughs> you can't get out. You just get more and more trouble, more children, and then later more grandchildren, and more whatever. And then the in-laws together, and uh, you know the trouble that brought me. It's a package deal. It's a package deal. It's not just one person coming to your life. It's many things: the wives and husband, friends, the wife and the husband, family, wives and husband. You know other. Not too good company, yeah, etc., 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 and the colleagues and the boss. And, oh God! Ah, I really think you are tough guys. Tough, tough, tough. You are made of iron. I should call you uh, iron in his shape. <laughs> How you do all this? I don't know. I had only a. Uh, seven dogs and uh, several, maybe tens of thousands of disciples, and I'm already very tired. <laughs> and how you do all this. And disciples are mostly very good. Yeah? All right. No, I truly, really, really love you, because I know what you go through every day, every single day of your life. Even if you try to avoid one, they usually get another. The Maya is always around. He never leaves you alone. He doesn't leave me alone. He can't mess up with me. He mess up with my, you know, attendant, uh, assistant. Actually, dog's assistant. Every day. Every day. <laughs> if I cannot cry, I just laugh. What else to do? Cry and laugh is the same. <laughs> same situation. Yeah. <laughs> You're in prison already. You cry or you laugh, what would you do? <laughs> Still in prison, right? <laughs> Make no difference. Just as I told you. Yeah? I wear a high heel and I stand up. So it still makes not much difference to you. You don't see me much. <laughs> right. Now, I told you, I talk a lot. You need a calendar now? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Hey, it's all your fault. You don't want me just to read it. You want me to talk, talk, talk? <laughs> Never mind, we have fun, okay? We have fun. Yeah, whatever. Okay, huh? You already have Ning Method. You already know the five precepts. What else can be wrong? Hmm? And you want to see your master. Can it be wrong? No, right? So she has to sit here so you can see her, right? And if you can not just sit here for just uh, look, 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 look for I have to talk to <laughs> Entertain you, huh? Yeah, you should be lucky you have some entertainment, Master, no? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
All right, my ego is going up already. <laughs> All right, so the Buddha say that what I have said here, I mean above mentioned, just up to now, apart from mine, yeah, except mine. He say what I have said here is the Buddha's teaching. Any explanation others counter to it, mean opposite to it, is the teaching of the papiya, meaning the atheist, meaning it's wrong. Huh? What the Buddha said about the last four mind, you know, that we should cut off, we should be aware of it. Just be aware of it, okay? Then that is the teaching of the Buddha. He didn't say be aware of it. I, I say that. Because the Buddha has it too good. Maybe he doesn't know much about the suffering of normal humans. So he say you have to do it or die. So I tell you, beware. Beware and control it. Buddha has been born as a prince. Huh? And he has been a Buddha forever. He tops guy, right? Prince. Muscular, hmm? and 500 concubines, yeah? born in silk, and silver, and gold. And even when now, after a few years, he came Buddha again. <laughs> and people worship him. Whatever he say, people listen with awe, respect. Yeah? So, he probably never had to work all his life. Huh? Of course, it's his good karma, good marriage. You could cultivate. Well, and then you can become a king and then a prince and a Buddha like that. If you cultivate the Bu what the Buddha said. Okay? Right. So the Buddha has cut off his tie with the world. As a, as a prince, he was so well protected. He lived in luxury. Yeah, he lived in protection, love, and respect, worship, whatever you want, he got. Huh? He, until he went out and, and saw the suffering on the street, then he wake up. But even then, he went to become a monk. Huh? Also, it's not like you have to go out to work, fighting with the world for some more sort of food and a few dress on your body. That's a different suffering. But the Buddha has been determined to be enlightened in order to help sentient beings. That was also a very hard job. But it's a different. He doesn't roll in the traffic jam every early morning when you still, your eyes still not open just to go out to work. Otherwise, you don't have breath on your face. Mm -hmm. And at that time, he doesn't have to breathe pollution air like the way we do now, which contaminates our body, weaken our resistance, blurring our mind. We have all this now. You have all this now. Apart from all the hardship you have to endure every day in your life. So if the Buddha were born again in this lifetime, with you in your center, in your generation, and have to un undergo all this hardship, then probably he would be more lenient. But of course, you must remember, he's talking to the monks, yes? To the, the assembly of monks who is already our heart, who is already pure, already left everything behind and has the fortune to be cut off from all the mundane obligations, trouble, and temptation. All they do is just take their bowl, go around in the village, have whatever they have, come back, eat their food, meditate, listen to the Buddha, living a very uh, not too bad life. Even though maybe to bake and eat only once a day, maybe it's unimaginable to you. But you get used to it. And if you have no choice, that's probably be good. Yeah, I'm telling you. 
Because they will be busy with some other thing, you know? They will answer other lay disciples to come and ask. The, the lay disciples don't always ask the Buddha. Eh? The Buddha is not always available. He has to go to Samadhi. He wants to meditate. So maybe they ask Ananda, they ask other monks. So they are also busy teaching them. Hmm? And they are also busy remembering what Buddha is teaching. Write it down and contemplate on it, you see? And when you are busy, you don't feel that hungry. If you want to slim down, I have a recipe. <laughs> huh? You want to hear? No. All of you are very skinny. You don't need. <laughs> really, you want? Okay, I'm telling you. It just do what I do. <laughs> Be a master. Okay. Busy yourself so much that you just eat half a bowl, and then you have to to, ring, to run for the phone, run for the dog, run for everything, and then you lost your appetite. And you won't eat no more. That's also a good method. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was having appetite. I was enjoying my food. But then I had to, to, to work because of deadline. And other things at the working time. And then after I finish that I don't feel any appetite anymore. I don't feel like I I would want to enjoy that food anymore. Yeah? No? No. <laughs> okay. Some of you would have had similar situation, right? <laughs> yes, huh? Yes. Don't tell me that I don't teach you everything. I do. <laughs> Even to how to slim down. <laughs> दयालु दर्शको अमे तमारी कंपनी नी प्रशंसा करिए छिए आज ना एपिसोड माटे जेनी शीर्षक छे सुरंगम सूत्र चार स्पर्श अने अफर सूचनाओं सुधरता पर कामा तुरता अने संहार थी दूर रहो छह भागनो भाग चौथो गुरु अने शिष्यों बच्चे मां अगामी आवे छे थियोफसीना पसंद कीना Pavitra Updesho The Voice of Silence Katko Ek Ane Be Be Bhagno Bhag Ek Gnana Sabdopar Nod Patra Samachar Pachi Turtaj Kupa Karine Jyota Raho Supreme Master Television Vadu Hakar Tamak Karyakram Mate Aap Hamesha Vakep Raho Ke Aap Pushko Prem Pamo Cho Gracious viewers, we appreciated your company for today's episode entitled The Surangama Sutra, the four clear and unalterable instructions on purity, refrain from lust and killing, part four of six, on between master and disciples. Coming up next is selections from the Theosophies Sacred Teachings, The Voice of the Silence, Fragment 1 and 2, Part 1 of 2 on Words of Wisdom, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May you always be aware that you are loved beyond measure. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash DMD.